This news update is brought to you by McInerney Quality and Consolidated Finance invite you to trade in your old car for a new one. So, bring your car and come to McInerney Quality in Wildey. That's right, all trade-ins are welcomed. Any make or model, we'll trade towards your new car. Plus, you get two years free insurance when you purchase a Kia, Mazda or Ford. And with on-the-spot financing by Consolidated Finance, you can drive away with something new. So, bring your car and come to McInerney Quality in Wildey. All trade-ins are welcomed. This is the 7 a.m. Hot Minutes Today update for Tuesday, November the 5th, 2013. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. The Barbados Tourism Authority is sticking with Rihanna. Far from washing their hands of the Barbadian pop star after the recent negative publicity on her Diamonds tour, the authorities are already negotiating a new contract. Tourism Minister Richard Seeley tells Barbados Today they're working on expanding the current campaign to focus more on exposure on social media. They are looking at ways and means that we can maximize um, the relationship in terms of, from a tourism point of view, in terms of uh, how she can assist us in, in promoting the destination, particularly in the new media area. Rihanna signed a three-year contract with the Barbados Tourism Authority in August 2012. It's still early, but it looks like Barbados won't have to worry about pork or poultry shortages this Christmas. CEO of the Barbados Agricultural Society, James Fall, says it will be a busy Yuletide season for farmers, so much so that there may be more than Bajans can eat. Paul says the only thing that could get in the way is unexpected rain or heat. Businesses and individuals who refuse to pay up their NIS contributions could find themselves in the law courts. Labor Minister Dr. Esther Bayasuku says that's one of the next possible steps as government tries to get the millions owed. The National Insurance Scheme recently published a list of over 900 defaulters urging them to make arrangements so to settle their accounts. The minister says some took advantage of the opportunity, but others are still holding out. The effect has been that we have seen people come forward. Barbados is a small society. You know, you see your name in paper, you're going, you're going to come and, um, and, and make some effort. So there has been um, an increase in the number of people who have been coming forward to try to make an arrangement, which is what we anticipated. We don't expect everybody will come forward. What we have also realized is that some of these people have left Barbados, um, some of them no longer in business and so on. So that has also been identified uh, for us. But they are coming forward. They are attempting to make an arrangement. It is what will happen in the long term. There's regional and international news after this short break. Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bag. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Regionally, a report has found that the Christopher Dudders Coke extradition took down the Jamaica Labour Party in 2011. The five-member Independent Strategic Review Commission says that the issue played a major role in the party's 2011 election loss. The commission says the loss was due to weaknesses in political conduct during its term of office. On the international scene, Pakistan's Prime Minister says a drone strike that killed the Pakistan Taliban leader won't derail government efforts at peace talks with the group. The country's leader says the dialogue and peace efforts will go on. At a cabinet meeting yesterday, ministers described drone attacks as unacceptable and called them a violation of Pakistan's sovereignty. A statement said it is incumbent upon the international community to support this endeavor of the government for an accomplishment of peace. The meeting came three days after a U.S. drone strike killed the Taliban leader. Join us for our next update at noon. Until then, log on to www.barbadostoday.bb for more news and sports. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. This news update brought to you by...
Chicken Barn has added a fantastic new location at the Villages at Coverley to serve you even better. You can now enjoy your mouth-watering heavenly chicken every day of the week when you visit our super new location in Coverley Square at the Villages at Coverley. Come and enjoy our succulent, mouth-watering, healthy rotisserie chicken on the patio in this relaxed atmosphere. Bring the entire family to Chicken Barn at the Villages at Coverley today. Opening hours are Monday to Saturday from 10.30 a.m. to 10.30 p.m. and Sundays and bank holidays from 10.30 a.m. to 7 p.m. Oh, I'll be heavenly chicken, chicken.